So this is what I've been doing this week. A mini, so I figured I'd go ahead and give you a sneak peek. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bonnie. I am the owner and founder of Life Changing Grace. And this is one of my uh, favorite things to do is, is just painting all kinds of ways. And I love, love teaching children how to blend their colors. And, and I just had such a good time with my grandchildren this week. I know you guys are following me about Ruby, Angels for Ruby, uh, Prayers for Ruby. And um, she's still running temperatures occasionally and stuff like that. So, and I would like to tell you, thank you for the support. Just asking if I'm okay. You know, sometimes that, you know, that means more than just money. So, um, but don't get me wrong. You can follow me and support, you know, follow the channel. Um... That's that is a support all in its own. So I want to invite you to enjoy this. And like once again, I thank you so much for all your help. Whoops. See, you can never mess up. You know, really truly when it comes to painting, you can never mess up. And if you're if you're um if you're aggravated or anything of the sort, you know, see, I mean, look at that, it's gone, so if you're getting aggravated as you, you know, this is supposed to be something very relaxing, this is a form of meditation, you breathe, you, you and, and art is art, who, you know, sometimes we're just so hard on ourselves and we judge everything that we do. Okay, this is a, a part. Sometimes art isn't for a person, you know. It's just, it's just a, see, it's gone just like that. You can never mess up when it comes to art. So, um, so I hope you really enjoy this and, um, See, and this is how you blend. The thing is, I'm going to show you something right here. You can take and go like this. You know, when it comes down, you got your paint down. Now you want to do the out ground, the out the background. Okay, you take a line. You do it just as simple as that. Okay. I mean, look at that. I'm just getting some wet paint on this beautiful canvas. And I'm just having fun with it. And, you know, that's the thing. Look at that. You know. And then you just take and you blend your paint. Okay. Use your, I use Elmer's Glue 50-50. And that works just as good as anything else. I got it slightly brushed, just slightly wet. And look at what I'm doing. I'm just getting it on there. And I'm dancing. I'm taking this brush and I'm just dancing on this beautiful canvas. Just a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and dancing with a semi-wet brush. Okay, and that's the thing. We're so in our comfort zone. Okay, when I was with my grandkids... Teaching them how to paint this weekend or this week. Okay, I had so much fun with them. Okay, and my oldest grandchild, she did not want to, you know, she didn't want to, it was hard for her to get out of her comfort zone and do something different. Okay, and saying that, this expands our creativ creativity and it is good for our heart, soul, and mind. Okay, I thought the babies are fixing to come out. My grandson, he's so patient. It's almost like, and it is, it's like he's the last one to do anything, you know? And the girls always come first. I mean, I don't know if any of you have gone through the same thing or, you know, 
can relate to this maybe even as a man. Maybe you're a man watching this and then you know, it just seemed like your sisters are always the one that got everything, you know, and you always went last and all that, you know. I mean, come on, we come from a generation that, you know, ladies first. So, see, and this don't matter because you can go over that. Okay, and I'm just blending now. I'm running out. See those little speckles that you will kind of slightly want to wet your brush. Dab, dab, dab. Get it a little wet. And then that blends right on in there. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And sit back and listen to the music. Or I may be put in a... Um, talking about Ruby or something like that um, so you can better get to know her and I look forward to working with some of you guys I am out of town you guys and I will be home soon you all I'll be home soon so um, God bless you guys so much and enjoy Always, always, always keep your waters clean, okay? Um, keep your place clean, you know, that where you're painting, keep it clean. Now, my thing, I love to twist the brush and get the paint to rise up. Kind of like 3D. So I'm pushing the paint down to the bottom here. And then I got this nice line down at the bottom. And then I turn it around. And then I repeat the process. And I push the paint to the edge. This is how You cut in. You always want to put your colors in the middle here. And push them to your edge. That's how you get a clean cut line. And then you just work it to where you want it and how you want it. And then I got the paint that rises up a little bit. Always in the middle. Always want your paint in the middle. As you can see, putting everything in the middle. Then you got these little beads right here on each side. And this is what I want. As you can see, bring it on in. I don't know if you can see those beads, how they are on each side. And you push it to the edge. And you're dancing, you're dancing. Oops. I know how to do it. <laughs> dance, dance, dancing. That brush and do the boogie, you guys. And what I really like to do, I love to blend colors. I really, really do. Kind of getting shading into your colors when they're slightly white. I don't know if you see that, but look at that natural. I don't know. Hit the brush just slightly. You know, I might want to go like that because I don't want so much white. Put there. Put right there. Look at there. And I'll put that down in it. 
kind of sort of in there. There you go. And then I kind of want to dry the brush. I'm going to dance with it. I don't want to put my hand in the wet paint. <laughs> Each brush has a shape, okay? And it really helps you do things. Where is that thing? Huh. I was going to show you that when you buy brushes, it's really good to have these things. Because then you know what kind of shape you do. So you're kind of placing these into shapes. always good to have all brushes so I'm going to use the same one I did his ear with If you want to keep this white, and you know, you're going to bring this ear up, you're going to lose some of this white. So you can go ahead, get the ear wet, dip a little bit into it, and just go along the side right in here. That's all you want to do is like that. And like I, as always, I really hope you get something from my videos. Now, I offer a service, I and I, I never charge you guys at all um you got um i've had donations back in 2020 i believe it was maybe before the coronavirus i was uh getting donations the life changing grace channel I was getting some donations and um then of course if corona hit just when i was you know so i'm getting some momentum some of you are new clients some of you are new here